The Bounder BB Show, that celebrity interview, a new kind of talk show. Broadcasting on FM radio, social media sites, and Dallas television. Visit BounderBBShow.com. Technology and Response Team Norton uh, what Norton Systems or Systematic? Uh, that's a that's a long title, isn't it? You, you it could, is. <laughs> you could just say Semantic Security Response. That's probably the shortest version of my title. It's semantic Security Response. We'll go with that. Thank you for joining us to talk about the new study that reveals cyber criminal attacks are even getting bigger and more vicious. Yeah, they definitely are. Tell me about that study and tell me what we really need to know. Well, the study is called the Internet Security Threat Report, and what we found in 2013 is hundreds of companies had identities exposed. And that means our personal information that these companies were storing were lost or stolen by hackers. And eight of those companies lost more than 10 million records each. So it's a pretty significant number and it all adds up to about 552 million identities exposed. Okay, we're talking about the hackers that are hacking big stores like Target and the other ones that got caught in that scam, and I'm sure there are more we don't know about. Yes, there's hundreds of them. Uh, the, some of the larger ones have made the newspapers, but uh, hundreds of them happened in 2013. With, let me ask you, kind of segue this in this. With Microsoft no longer supporting the level of um, operating system that our ATMs are offering us right now because they've moved on to other levels, does that put us at risk, or is it just something the media is continuing to hype us about? Well, you know, the XP operating system has always been one, uh, at risk of attack, uh, but uh, with the operating system going end of life, that risk gets even higher, and that's what people are concerned about. And then when you add to it that many of the devices running uh, XP are actually things like ATMs, which, uh, which if you want to steal money, that's one of the places to go. You can understand why people are getting a little bit excited about it. So we're vulnerable, is what you're telling us, anywhere there is data technology that makes us vulnerable, even though uh, we don't lose our ATM cards, we don't give out our ATM numbers and all of that, we're still vulnerable, right? Yeah, we are. I mean, we nobody should panic, but they need to be aware and take steps to, to protect themselves with any digital device that connects to the Internet. There is a risk involved. Okay. When you say protect ourselves, give us some steps that, that my listening audience can just sink in. People have said this many times, but give us some audio steps once again. Yes. I mean, it never hurts to be reminded. The, the first one is really about giving yourself strong passwords and making sure you don't use the same password for every website or every application you use. This makes it easy for the bad guys. If they get your password once, they've got it everywhere. Now, you may need help like a password program in order to, uh, to remember all those passwords. Well, those are free and you can download those from anywhere. That's a really important step. The second, okay. thing, the second thing I'd say is update your software on your PC, on your mobile phone, even some of these devices that uh, you find connected to the Internet in your home. You don't think of them as a computer, but if they're connected to the Internet, they're running software, they're hackable, you should make sure that you're always up to date on the latest software. That'll make it a lot harder for the bad guys to attack you. And finally, get good security software, get some help from experts, run that on your PC, run that on your mobile phone. You do those, just those three simple things, you're going to go a long way towards protecting yourself online. Okay, Kevin, you're giving us this information. What do you do on a daily basis that allows you to know more than us, the average consumer? <laughs> well, that's our job every day to get up and figure out what the bad guys are doing and how to stay ahead of them. So we spend a great deal of time watching what the bad guys are doing, analyzing the software, the malware that they write, and creating new protections for it 
so that we can update our products to keep our customers up to date and safe. It's a 364 by 24 by 7 job. I know that. And the final question is, when you did this report and you were doing your research, what surprised you the most? I guess what surprised me most was the amount of scams and malware that are on social media. Uh, when we're on social media, we feel like we're surrounded by our friends, and I think we let our guard down. So we're a lot easier to fool. Uh, bad guys are able to run scams uh, on social media because we just don't think anything will happen to us surrounded by our friends. And we probably need to be even more careful there because bad guys are looking to take advantage of us. That's great advice. Kevin, can you send up my listening audience to a website so they can maybe find out more about the survey or more about your company? Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to read the full report, you can go to semantic.com slash threat report. And if you want some more tips and advice on how to protect yourself online, you can go to norton.com. Kevin Haley, thank you so very much. Thank you for making us aware. My I'm pleasure. sure you'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. The Bounder BB Show, that celebrity interview, a new kind of talk show. Broadcasting on FM radio, social media sites, and Dallas television. Visit BounderBBShow.com. Thanks for having me. Well, I want to let my listening audience, I just want to refresh them, and just in case they don't know that you work with A-list celebs such as Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Jessica Simpson, Megan Fox, Halle Berry, Robert Patterson, Robert Downey Jr. The list goes on and on and on. So you must be a heck of a trainer. I'm either that or I'm very old, and I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I'll go a heck of a trainer. Thank you. No, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. You look the part, Harley, of what you offer your client, and I'm a person. If you sell shoes, I want you to have good shoes. So you sell <laughs> having a good body, and you have a good body. And Thank you. So that tells me that there's something that you know that we need to know. Tell me about that. Well, um, you know, the most important thing is to pick your parents very carefully. Uh, genetics is a huge component in how we look and feel. You know, Halle Berry obviously had two incredibly attractive parents, um, but really how we live our lives, how we move and how we eat. These days we're, we're sitting too much. We're sitting on our car on the way to work. We're sitting at our desk all day in front of the computer and, and for the rest of the day we, we're really not moving enough. So the first thing is we just have to move more from the moment we wake up to the moment you go to bed. I have a little Fitbit. I carry a little activity monitor with me each day so I can make sure I hit my step goal. Um, when I drive somewhere, I don't look for the closest parking spot right next to the door to where I'm going or drive around for 10 minutes to find that closer spot. I'll park further away. I'll walk those extra few steps and that all adds up at the end of the day. I also make sure I do resistance exercise. So you don't need a gym membership. You don't need to buy a thousand dollar piece of equipment. Just picking one resistance movement a day, every day of the week, is really all you need to do. So one day if you're doing a squat, you can do three sets of 20 reps at home or in the office, um, in the bathroom stall when you sneak away at the nightclub. Uh, you can do a reverse lunge one day. You can do different exercises. Now diet. That's really where we struggle in the United States. We're focused more about what to avoid rather than what we should have. So make sure you're eating three meals 
and two snacks a day. And every time you eat, make sure there's protein and fiber. And at breakfast, think about having uh, an omelet, for example. You want to have protein the size of your hand. So think of the mass of your hand. You want to make sure there's protein the size of your hand, whether it be chicken, fish, eggs. That's how much protein you want to have at each meal. You want to have a palmful of whole grains or fibrous fruits like berries or apple slices. And uh, in snack time, which is also where we really struggle, you want to make sure you're getting quality protein during snack time. So whether it be um, a bean dip, like a lentil dip or roasted chickpeas, or Alberto does some great beef jerkies and turkey jerkies that are all natural. Um, Greek yogurt is something that's very easy to get pr protein for during the day, a little smoothie. And some protein bars, you want to be careful, tend to be loaded with sugar or sugar alcohols. So you want to try and read the label on everything you buy and make sure if there's ingredients in there you can't pronounce and you don't know what they are, or there's more sugar than protein, then stay away. Thank you, Harlan. Uh, excuse my voice today. You gave us some great things. What about the spiritual component? Because it's a mind, body, uh, spirit journey. See, that's why, that's why I love doing interviews with you, because that's a brilliant question. I mean, that I have not heard. Yes, there is a huge spiritual component. I think that if you are unhappy inside or there's something absent inside, I think it will definitely have a profound impact on what we do outside. Um, and so sleep is a very big part of that. I think emotionally we tend to be really thrown if we're exhausted all the time. Having a 14-day-old daughter at home right now, I know that. Um, we know scientifically speaking that having a support system, having those around you, friends and family, um, and those physical connections can really fulfill you inside and make you healthier and make you do healthier things, especially when those around you are. And um, having a positive outlook is really, really important. Believe it or not, meditation. You know, meditation doesn't have to be a Buddhist thing. It doesn't have to be something you know where you're, uh, you've got the same word you're repeating over and over until you fall asleep. Meditation, for me, for example, is going for a walk and being outside in nature. Meditation might be playing with your kids, doing things that fulfill you on the outside um, so you can do healthier things uh, on the outside. So much for that, Harley. I know you've summed this up in several books. You want to recommend a book for the listening audience? The most recent book I've written is The Body Reset Diet, which uh, I'm very excited about. It's, it's books now translated, I think, in almost 10 languages in about 20 countries. And this is really a great 15-day reset of your metabolism, your appetite, um, your palate, and your whole body. And in those 15 days, you'll create some very positive habits, both through diet and through exercise that hopefully you can continue with through the rest of your life. Well, Harley, thank you for the inspiration. My show is TV, uh, radio, and I'm on TV. And I want to lose like five or 10 pounds because, you know, it makes you look a little heavier. Right. I'm going to take the Harley past the neck path. Thank you. Thank you. You do great work. You do reasonable work. And you do doable things. So thank you for being a guest today on The Valve. Thank you for show. having me. The Valder BB Show, That Celebrity Interview, a new kind of talk show. Broadcasting on FM radio, social media sites, and Dallas television. Visit ValderBBShow.com. Hi, Valder. 
Good morning, Mary O'Hemmon White. Thank you for joining <laughs> us here live in Dallas, Texas. N nice to be here in well, Dallas from thank L.A. You. <laughs> thank you so much. You're live radio. That's fine. But you're live for our audience, so I wanted to talk with you about uh, running from crazy. You're on the OWN Network, and tell us what this is, because you are a mental health advocate. I am a mental health advocate, and I am because I come from an extraordinary family, uh, come from wonderful greatness. My, my grandfather, Ernest Hemingway, was one of the greatest writers of, in the world, probably. And also, there was this darkness. There was depression and suicide. And, and so it's about my journey of really kind of understanding where my family comes from and why I've made the decisions I've made in my life, why my sister made the decisions that she made in her life, you know, et cetera, et cetera so that I could actually, by telling my story, so that I could help others feel free, feel comfortable, feel safe to tell their story. Okay, so this is something that uh, Oprah Winfrey had a hand in also, too? Yes, uh, I co-executive produced uh, this film with Oprah Winfrey, who's been an extraordinary support of me, of the project, of just this conversation, getting this conversation started. She's extraordinary. And, and you know, on Sunday night when it shows on April 27th at, at 9 p.m., she gives an introduction because they show it without commercial interruption, which I think is, I mean, God bless her for doing that, um, is so extraordinary. And her introduction to it is so, well, it's so Oprah, it's so honest, it's so clear, it's so, I'm, she's an amazing human being, and having her a part of this dialogue opens this up for so many people who feel unheard, unseen, you know, and feel like they're alone and they're not. And that's what this story is about. You're not alone. There is help. There's healing. There's happiness at the end at, at the end of a dark tunnel. It'll show some of your personal life in this documentary, Running From Crazy. A little. <laughs> yes, I have a breakdown in it, but not what the kind that you think. I have a very big fight with my um, significant other. <laughs> which is actually kind of a, a welcome relief after some of the intense uh, information that you get. But yes, you see me struggling, happy, sad, doing all these different things out in nature, you know, climbing rocks, doing things that help me to understand me and also to understand the, where I come from. And ultimately, I come out the other end really having a better understanding of myself. And also, you know, I speak around the country about mental well-being and balance and lifestyle and, 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 and just being, being healthy by understanding where we come from and starting that conversation. And, and, and you know, mental, mental illness needs to be talked about more. There's no stigma. It doesn't make you bad or ugly if you talk about this. When you say mental illness, uh, is it like cancer? Cancer has so many different types. So when you say mental illness, is there different types or is Absol there just a thing called mental illness? Absolutely. You're, you're absolutely 100% correct in that because there, you know, there's not one type of cancer. There's not one type of mental illness. Stress is a mental illness. Too much stress creates, you know, dark periods of your life where you're depressed. There's deep depression, there's mild depression, there's manic depressiveness, there's, you know, suicidal tendencies, there's suicide, there's, you know, schizophrenia. There's so many different things that happen to the brain. Our brain is extraordinary, but it's very important for us to understand why we go out of balance. And one of my passions is really understanding that lifestyle, how we eat, whether we drink good water, whether we exercise, whether we get out in nature, that these are important elements to our mental well-being, to our balance. And it's about understanding ourselves as a whole. You know, our head is not separated from our body. So we have to understand that this all, this whole whole system works together. As you progress through the film, do you show other families also too? No, we don't. We just, we stick to my family. Uh, it's a big enough conversation. <laughs> but, um, but in this, the fact of the matter is, even though we stick only with my family, it's just, it's just to say, look, here's my family. 
I'm sure I'm a lot like your family. And it and it gives people permission to, to talk about their own story. And so many, you know, I've been at many, many film festivals with this movie. And so many people will say to me, oh my God, we have the same story. And I look at them and I go, I know, because we all share in this. You know, whether it's you know somebody who committed suicide or it's a family member or you've gone through your own depression, whatever it is, we all have something that's similar because we're human beings and the human condition is that we have ups and downs and it's about embracing that and finding tools to deal with it. I'm going to ask you a complex question. You think when this film comes out, this will help African Americans by Oprah Winfrey being an executive producer. And what I mean by that, it's still very much a, a stigma in the African American community. It's a stigma in America, period within the African-American community. It's, it's a big a deal. A stigma. Do you think this can help break through that wall of silence and no help? I'm, I'm you know, obviously I'm not African-American, um, but but Oprah is, and her voice in that community is huge, and giving them permission to tell this story is huge. And from the feedback that I've gotten from African-Americans that have seen it, and it's not, it's not me, I'm a white girl story. This is, this is, you know, this is permeates throughout our society. So yes, I think it can help because she's saying this is okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel darkness. It's okay. And the more we talk about it, you can, you can begin to heal. And that's all this is about. So it doesn't matter the color of my skin. It's about this conversation. It's about starting the conversation. And yes, Yes, it will help. Meryl Hemingway, thank you so much for that just clear explanation. Tell me when you want us to watch it on own as we wrap up. Okay, watch it April 27th, which is this coming Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time and Pacific Time, which okay. I don't know what that is Central Time. <laughs> okay. Thank you so very thank much. You. We will be glued to the TV. The Bounder BB Show, that celebrity interview, a new kind of talk show. Broadcasting on FM radio, social media sites, and Dallas television. Visit BounderBBShow.com. Hi, Valder. Good morning. Who do I have on the line? It's Ellen Miller, the fashion beauty director for Better Homes and Gardens. Well, it's so wonderful to have you again on the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, I got your best products yesterday. Fantastic. And they are, they are the best. We're going to be giving those away later this week. And I'll tell people at the end of the uh, interview how they can maybe get some of those great products. You that guys is. did a good job this year. You always do a good job, but the products were right on target. Tell me about those best products for, for this coming year. All right. Well, at Better Homes and Gardens, we worked with BrandSpark, an independent market research firm, to survey, get this, 80,000 consumers from coast to coast about what products they like best. This year, there are 91 winners, but I'm going to take you through some of the health and beauty winners today. So okay. Let's get right to it. For face, we have Olay Pro X Tone Correcting Protocol. This is absolutely everything you need to help fight dark spots, which can all pop up as we get older. And Olay Total Effects Moisturizer and Serum Duo, essentially an anti-aging regimen in a bottle, your moisturizer plus your heavy hitting serum all in one. All right, moving along to some of our color cosmetics, 
we have CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Now, shoppers told us that they loved that this is a multitasker. It's your concealer, your foundation, and your primer all in one product. And then it's not just about wrinkles. Who knew, but your hair can get older. So if we chose Pantene Age Defy Shampoo and Conditioner, really contains ingredients to help fight the multiple signs of aging, dullness, brittleness, fading color. This is what you need um, if that's, that's a concern for you. For nails, we have Sensation Nail Starter Kit. It's an at-home manicure kit. Helps you get that gel look at home, and really the color is gonna last you forever, just about two weeks before you need to refresh it. For our health category, we have z -Quil, which is a sleep aid. Shoppers told us that they really like that it's non-habit forming, and it really helps you get to sleep a little easier. All right, finally, let's move along to some of our personal care products. We have Crest 3D White Arctic Fresh. Shoppers told us they loved the really fresh minty taste and the fact that it helps reduce surface stains. Great product if you're a coffee drinker like me. And here is one of my favorites, Gillette Venus and Olay Sugar Berry. Fantastic razor because you don't even need to use shaving cream with this product. I just toss it in my bag, you can hop on a plane, you're good to go. Shoppers told us they loved the sugar berry scent. It's a fun, kind of girly, nice thing to have in the shower. And then we can't leave out those guys, right? Dove Men Plus Care Aqua Impact Body and Face Wash, and sort of an all-in-one product, good for guys. They told us they liked it because of the scent and the fact that it's more moisturizing than other body washes out there. That was a fabulous job because you, you basically told about those products from Health and Beauty that you know, you guys chose through the survey with those 80,000 Americans. I can't believe you did, 80,000 people. Yes, yes, 80,000 people. I was busy testing lipstick, so I did not survey the 80,000 people, <laughs> but I love the results. I love knowing, you know, the people have chosen. This is like the People's Choice Awards for consumer products. Ooh, I like that. Let me ask you, will we see that outlined in the Better Homes and Garden current issue? Yes, April issue, which is on newsstands now, or you can head to bestnewproductawards.com. You can actually print out a list, a shopping list of all the winners. Take it right with either the drugstore or the grocery store. Well, Ellen Miller, I know why you're the fashion and beauty director. You know your stuff for Better Homes and Garden. Thank you so very much. Thank you. The Bounder BB Show, that celebrity interview, a new kind of talk show. Broadcasting on FM radio, social media sites, and Dallas television. Visit BounderBBShow.com.